Hi guys, we're continuing to talk about brand favorites here on my channel. Today we're talking about Revlon. And in my last video in this brand favorite series that I will link below, it was about Maybelline and then the next one is Benefit. I went on Instagram and asked you guys which brands you wanted me to focus on the most. So those were the three that got the most votes. Revlon is a brand that I've been loving for a very long time, but there were some things that I still wanted to try out, some concealers and some more face products because I tend to gravitate toward their lip products and not much else. And I wanted a little bit more diversity for you guys on this video. It's going to be very obvious that I love lip products from Revlon and then we're gonna move on to the rest. My first favorite from Revlon is going to be their super lustrous lip glosses and I have two shades here. I'm going to count this as one product but I wanted to at least share two different shades with you guys. And this one is in Supernatural. This is my favorite nude lip gloss to wear on top of nude lip lipsticks. And my other favorite is Pink Pop. Pink Pop can be used in various ways. I like pairing it with another bright pink lipstick or you can wear it with any other lipstick if you want to just intensify the pink in it a little bit. These are pretty sheer, uh, they're not sticky and the super lustrous lip glosses are made to be a bit more moisturizing than your typical lip gloss. But the wear of it is good because the color evenly fades instead of in patches, you know what I mean? So overall, I really like these lip glosses and they're so affordable that I just had to talk about them first. Another product that I love from Revlon is a different kind of lip gloss that they offer and it's their Color Burst Lip Gloss in Crystal Lilac. This is my favorite type of shade. It's kind of a blue toned pink, very creamy, again not sticky. The difference between the Super Lustrous Lip Glosses and the Color Burst Lip Gloss is that they, they say that the Color Burst Lip Gloss is supposed to be all about the color, the pigment, the payoff and the Super Lustrous is more about it be moisturizing and non-sticky. This one's not sticky either, so I really like this one. This video is overwhelmingly about lip products. That's just my favorite part of Revlon. So here is a Color Burst Matte Balm, and this is in the shade Standout. These have a minty scent to them, so I am never a fan of minty anything when it comes to lip products but I love this shade and I love this one. It's like my favorite red and that says a lot because I don't like the minty flavor. It's very easy to work with because it is in a pencil crayon form so I find it easier to apply red lipstick this way versus in a regular traditional lipstick bullet. I gotta mention some lip butters in this video and again these are going to be considered just one of the 10 products that I'm going to talk about, but I wanted to share multiple shades with you. So these are some of my favorite ones, Pink Truffle, Juicy Papaya, and Wild Watermelon. Pink Truffle is a great one for fall. It's basically a My Lips But Better. There are some that don't glide on as well on your lips as this one, so they're kind of hit and miss sometimes. Overall, I really like the lip butters, but this is probably my favorite one. Juicy Papaya is another one that I love. I would say Pink Truffle and Juicy Papaya are my two favorites. Uh, this one is way more sheer, but I like it because it really makes my lips look glossy. And I'm not really a fan of these peach orange shades on me. It just, to me, doesn't look that good. But because this is so sheer, I'm able to pull it off, I think. And then my third favorite is Wild Watermelon. And this one is a great way to wear a red without being too red. So if you're kind of scared to wear a lot of reds, like me, I tend to not wear a lot of red. Sometimes you just want that slight just ate a popsicle look, so that's why I really like Wild Watermelon. These Revlon lip butters are basically a tinted lip balm. That's how you should look at it. You shouldn't look at it as a lipstick, a lot more sheer, and you're gonna have to reapply a lot more throughout the day. But if you are okay with that and you like that type of lip uh, product, then I definitely recommend these if you have not picked them up yet. We are officially done with lip products and we are moving on. This is a little random, but I wanted to throw it in here because it is technically Revlon and it's their lash adhesive. I have a love-hate relationship with this. I know a lot of people love it. I do love it as well, but I don't like the packaging that much because it leaks. I can't take this to go with me because 
if it's not sitting upright like this, then it starts to leak around the edges, around the cap. Like right now, it's feeling a little sticky and I haven't even taken it with me. What I love about it is the way you apply it. So it comes with a brush, kind of like if you had a really skinny nail polish brush and you can paint it on your lash band versus squirting it out of a tube like the Duo Lash Glue. I'm using the Duo Lash Glue today because to me sometimes that holds my lashes a lot longer, a lot better than this one. Sometimes I have to reapply this. Otherwise, I really like this. I love the formula. I wish that the packaging was just a little bit better. This next product is one that I started using recently because you guys wanted to know more about Revlon products. I wanted to test more out. And it's the Revlon Age Defined Targeted Dark Spot Concealer Treatment. This product has a sponge tip applicator, kind of like the Maybelline dark spot treatment concealer whatever it's called that i really like it's a little bit more of a i don't know a hard sponge and you just squeeze it out of this tube this is pretty thick so it's not the easiest to apply or easiest to blend but i like using it with a damp sponge and once you do it is beautiful all day long it really brightens the under eye area it never looks dry or crease or anything like that under the eyes it stays good all day long. I think I use the lightest shade or the second to lightest shade for under my eyes. I sometimes like to go for more of a natural look, so I'm not wearing it right now. I'm wearing the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. Sometimes I like to go for something like that or the Maybelline one where it's a little bit more sheer. This one's more of a high coverage and when you really want to go for high coverage, I think this is a great drugstore option. For blush, the one that I've been really liking from Revlon is the Powder Blush in Haute Pink. And I think the packaging is pretty classy and the powder is really nice. Online, they're describing it as something that's supposed to enhance your complexion. So it's supposed to look really natural and just kind of add a slight tint to your cheek and it has lasted on my cheeks all day long. I've heard that the lighter shades aren't going to be as pigmented, obviously. If it's going to be really close to your skin tone, then you're not going to see it. But with this, and then I think the, I think it's called Classy Coral, correct me if I'm wrong, but those two had pretty good reviews online. Classy Coral has been sold out pretty much wherever I've gone to look for it. But I really like this one and I'm excited to try the coral one. Oh my gosh, guys. I forgot to talk about my favorite lipstick. It's the Super Lustrous Lipstick in Primrose. I was like, I'm done with lip products. And no, I forgot my favorite lipstick. This is Primrose. I'm not going to talk too much about it because... I have rambled on and on about this a lot in other videos, but you guys know this is my favorite shade and there's no scent to it whatsoever. It's awesome. My favorite eyeshadow from the drugstore for a very long time has probably been this Revlon Super Lush, no, this palette in Naturally Glamorous. These shades are all shimmer and clearly I have one or two shades that I don't use that often, but these are pretty much gone. I have two of these, so one of them I have somewhere in one makeup bag, and then this is the one that I've been using the longest, obviously. This is easy to work with. I blend everything with my fingers. I apply everything with my fingers when it comes to this eyeshadow. Are there other eyeshadows out there that are better? Yes, of course, but out of the drugstore options, I love this one. I wanted to mention a nail polish that I love year-round, but especially this time of year in the fall and winter, I'm going to be using this one a lot, and it's in the shade Gold Coin. It's a metallic nail polish that is such an easy, opaque, swipe-and-go type of nail polish. You don't have to think about it too much, and it just looks good for a long period of time. It's not, you know, too yellow or anything. It's a pretty subtle gold. That's why I think you can rock it even at work. If you like a gold like this, then I really recommend this one. And those were my top 10 favorites for Revlon. I know there were multiple uh, shades for some of them, so it was actually more than 10 products, but whatever. You know, I wanted to pack in here as many as possible so you guys can get a really good idea of what I love from Revlon. So let me know in the comments if you have any Revlon favorites and I think that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you all again really soon. Bye!